everyone. Oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Hold on. What's all this? It's called origami. There's one for each of you. Wow. 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 Oh, we should all wear these as hats. Everyone looks good in a hat. Well, almost everyone. Hey, has anyone seen an orange zombie lizard? Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh no, look at the time. I'm late. But we just got here. I know, but I'm going to an outdoor fashion show. It's being sponsored by Wake Up People. You know, that morning TV show. You mean you're going to be on TV? If I get there early enough, I might be. If I were going to be on TV, I wouldn't want to do it alone. I'd rather have a special friend with me. Oh. Zoe, would you like to come with? Oh, you don't have to ask me twice. You think about all the things that you love to do. It all comes true. I'll be discovered. <gasps> There's Ginny Hughes. And now it's time to wake up, people. I'm your host, Ginny Hughes. And today, we're unveiling Yudonce's brand new fashion line. <laughs> but first, I thought I'd talk to some of our fashionable audience members about their personal style. Oh, <laughs> I've heard of going retro, but this is crazy. <laughs> Do you know what century this is? <laughs> oh, I think I can safely call that a fashion don't. Who's next? OMG, she's getting closer to us. Maybe she'll interview you about your outfit. <gasps> I hope so. Look, like you're next. Oh, this is going to be the greatest thing that ever Whoa. out of our way life. Oh. Oops. Okay, who do we have next? Us. I'm Whitney Biscuit, and this is like my sister, Whitney Biscuit. You must have like heard of us before. Actually, I haven't, but I do see that you're dressed alike. How would you describe this twinsy style? Easy. We only wear overpriced designer luxury clothes. The kind of clothes most people only wish they could afford. Impress much? Actually, no. <laughs> what? Sorry, girls, but to me, personal style is not about following the crowd. It's about originality. Whoa! Now that's what I'm talking about. That's a look you don't see every day. Oh, how original. Oh, my stars. It's our Blythe on national television. And your name is? Uh, Blythe Baxter. Please tell us all about your outrageous new hat. Hat? Oh, you mean this nest. A nest hat? That's fantastic! A real fashion breakthrough. Um, it was more like a fashion accident. Hmm. Don't be so modest. This nest hat was a bold choice. A real fashion statement. Freshest look I've seen in a long time. Seriously, this really is a nest on my head. Why don't we bring out our star, Yudonce, and get her opinion on your nest hat? <laughs> It's a thrill to have a huge star like you. Now tell me, what do you think of this outrageous new nest hat? <laughs> oh, congratulations, Blake. You've gotten the official Pop Diva approval. Let the nest hat craze begin! Out of our way! I've had. I already know! Ta-da! What? <laughs> How do you like my nest hat? Well, it's, um, totally 
you. And then you don't say gave her hat the official diva thumbs up. We know, Zoe. We saw the whole thing on TV. Now we just want to see the nest hat up close. Oh, sure. Oh, oh what's that? Oh, OMG. It's an egg. Oh, I feel terrible. Terrible? Why? Because somewhere a mama bird is missing her egg. And I've got it. She must be looking everywhere. I need you guys to take care of this egg while I'm gone. I'd bring it with me, but I can't risk breaking it. Where are you going? To find that egg's mama. Maybe if I'm wearing this hat, there's a better chance she'll see it. She's leaving the egg with us? Eh, makes as much sense as wearing a nest on her head. Whoa! Oh, light. You're just who we're looking for. We need to talk to you about your phone. Oh, you mean the one you knocked out of my hand and stepped on? What about it? Well, when we told our daddy the hilarious story of how we broke your phone, he, like, went crazy. Yeah, said we had to, like, replace it. We asked him for the money, but he said, like, no. We didn't even know he knew that word. Anyway, he's insisting that we work it off. <laughs> Sif. So, do you have any idea of how we can, like, work it off? Lilith's Pet Shop. Yes, just a second. Blythe, it's for you. Another phone call from the media. They want to interview you about your nest hat. Another phone call? They've been calling all day. Just look at all these messages. Maybe there's a way we can work this to, like, our advantage. Um, hello? Don't worry. We'll take care of these. Oh, no. This can't be good. Of course it's good. To pay you back for destroying your phone, we're going to handle all your PR free of charge. We're really good with, like, the public. <laughs> You're good with the public? Well, thanks, but no thanks. I've got a mama bird to find. Listen, like you owe us this. Without us, there wouldn't even be a nest hat. Well, can we go back to the tree that this nest fell from? Yeah, like, right after our appointment. <laughs> Not everyone can pull off this fashion trend. For instance, these two young ladies. They seem to have missed the whole point. I think only down-to-earth types should even attempt to pull off a nest hat. I have an idea. For inspiration, why don't we go outside and look for real birds? Maybe even... Oh, look, we're out of time. Nest hats, they're a fashionable thing. <laughs> Now remember everyone, Blythe put us in charge of this egg and that means keeping it warm. Now, who wants to sit on it first? I oh, okay, okay, I I'll sit on it. I'll start. I'm already here. Thank you. What are you doing? You gotta stay still or the egg will never get warm. Come on, let someone else try. It's still ice cold. Hey! I'm not exactly warm-blooded, you know. Ah, oh, Finny. Uh, let Sunil try. Oh, but, but, but what do I do? I just sit on it? I don't want to crack it. Uh, don't worry, Sunil. Just sit down. It won't crack. But what if it does crack? What if the baby chick hates me for cracking his home? I don't think I could live with that kind of guilt! Ah! I'm thinking it's probably best if I take over. You see, I have the perfect method for keeping the egg warm. It's called a hog hug. Oh, there's my mailman chew toy. Whoa! <gasps> Look 
what I hatched. Aww. Aww. Whoa, easy, big guy. Mama! Mama! Did he just call me? both promised me that after the last show, I could go find that mama bird. <laughs> well, that wasn't the last show. This is. Get off of me! Uh, you can't hold me here like a prisoner! Wanna bet? It's like three against one. Two against one, Brit. Besides, the first rule of public relations is that the client is, like, never right. So, no matter what I say, you're gonna make me do the opposite? Finally catching on? Duh! In that case, I really love doing all these TV shows, and I think it would be a terrible idea to leave and go look for a mama bird that I'm very worried about. Good call, Blythe. Yeah, good. Wait, why is that a good call? Second rule of public relations, never disagree with the client to her face. <laughs> I'm so out of here. Blythe, do you think we like, like Watching you get all the attention? No, but we do it anyway. Why, you ask? Uh, I didn't ask. Because it's our job. That's how we make our money. It's called working for a living. Look it up. Britt, that's not why we're doing this. Uh, I knew that wasn't right. Why are we doing this again? So we can get something out of it as the true originators of the nest hat. How is that working for you? It's, it's not. not. FYI, we got 20 minutes till Blythe's segment. Is there anything I can get for her while she waits? No, I'm... <clears throat> Save your voice for the show, Blythe. We'll handle this. In the last eight hours, Blythe has become a huge star. So we're sure you wouldn't mind giving her a little extra special treatment. You know, to keep her, like, happy. Uh, okay. What does she want? Well, for starters, how about a new... So, Russell, uh, what are you going to name this little fella? Hubble. I think I'll name you Hubble. Russell, there's more to parenting than just giving him a name. <laughs> or at least that's what I've heard. She's right. Now you have to teach Hubble how to be a bird. Hubble, do you want to know how to fly? Uh -huh. Um, Russell, I'm not sure that's the best idea. Of course it is. Just do what I do. Now, I know I didn't actually fly, but you will. I believe in you, Hubble. If you put your mind to it, you can do anything you want. Now, go out there and fly. Come on, Hubble. Any second now, you're going to be soaring like an eagle. Now, now, there's nothing to cry about. You tried your best. Besides, there's a lot more to being a bird than just flying. Birds don't even like flying that much. Hey, maybe he's hungry. Oh, are you hungry, little guy? Ooh, <laughs> looks like you're not the only one. Let's make like birds and chow down. Look at all this beautiful swag. Did you see these new headphones? Score. Forget the headphones. Here's the foam we asked for. Turning Blythe into a demanding diva is the best idea we've ever had. Yeah, but the real Blythe is like turning psycho. If that mama bird doesn't find your egg, I'm holding you both responsible. If you didn't want to be tied up and held against your will, you should never have become a celebrity. Blythe, here are the three flaxseed smoothies you asked for. Blythe? I'll take those. Blythe doesn't like to be disturbed before she goes on camera. Yeah, and she also needs mango organic yogurt made from yak's milk. Uh, I, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to find that. No yogurt, no Blythe. If you're not back in five minutes with the yogurt, our client walks. But the segment tapes in five minutes! Then why are you still here? <laughs> you know it's so great. We don't even like yogurt. <laughs> but watching her hop too is like epic fun. <laughs> oh, Blythe, your smoothie's getting warm and slushy. Better drink up. 
I don't care about a smoothie. You know, for a diva, you're a total buzzkill. For the last time, I am not a diva! <laughs> I've got your Yak's Milk Yogurts! Uh. Ew! Yak's Milk Yogurt! Like, yuck! Now watch what I do. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yum! Now you try. No! Russell, this is not how mama birds feed their newborn babies. Well, how do you know? Oh, I found this book over in the bird section. There's a whole chapter on feeding chicks. Let me see that. Mm, I don't want to show it to you. Why not? Because I'm afraid you'll say, Ew, that is so gross. Oh, please, I'm a guy. Nothing grosses us out. Uh, just give me the book. Okay, you asked for it. It says here that the mama bird chews her food and then puts it right into the baby's mouth. Oh, there's even a picture. Oh, that is... So oh, gross! What did I tell you? Well, I'm not doing that. Try this, Russell. I've heard Mrs. Twombly say that birds really like these birdseed bells. Great idea! Thanks! Okay, Hubble. This is how you get the bird seeds off the bell. And now you try. Mmm, these seeds are so delicious inside my tummy wummy. Don't you wish you had some in your tummy, Hubble? Here comes the train pulling into the station. Now open wide. Chugga 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 here comes the plane in for a landing. No, oh, he won't eat. I'm a lousy mother. What the yikes! people to wear nest hats. Don't you see what's happening? So, birds are attacking people. Yeah, big work. Don't you see that the nest hat place has become a huge problem for hat wearers and wildlife too? I've got to go do something before any birds or people get hurt. Look, this is your completely undeserved 15 minutes of fame. Don't blow it, life. When are you two going to get it through your very large heads? I don't care about that! to the web. <laughs> My chirp feed says that the nest hat craze is officially over. It's so over. OMG, look what's happening. The birds weren't attacking anyone. They just wanted to nest in the hats. Isn't nature amazing? Yeah, amazingly boring. I think our day of work is over, Brittany. So over. See a blight. Have fun soaking up more nature or whatever. There's just one more thing I need to take care of. This is it! This is the tree that Ness fell out of! No! 
Now what do we do? Let me try this. up so I can see Hubble one last time. I guess this is goodbye, Hubble. I'll never forget you. Hope you don't forget me. Russell! Hey! You know my name! You will remember me. <sighs> I'm gonna miss that and he'll miss you, too. You're not exactly easy to forget. Oh! What an outrageous look! A hedgehog hat! 